Hey there, I've got another autograph story for you today. And it's from a band that I was a big fan of when I was a teenager. One of my first crushes was the singer of this band. And that was, ready? Terry Nunn of Berlin. Terry Nunn of Berlin. I was always too young to go see them perform in the 80s. Uh, I remember them performing in the area of uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm not sure if it was in Charlotte or just driving distance, but it was always a 21 and older club, so I could never go. Now, in the future, uh, I was finally able to see Berlin in concert in 2001. It was great. It was with The Fix and uh, some other 80s bands. Um, and it was great. I don't think I actually got to hang out and talk with her at that one. She came out in the audience and, you know, shook hands or whatever. But um, great show. Didn't get to meet her then. Then in 2003, I met her really briefly at SIR Studios in Hollywood, California, where I was at a Devo rehearsal. She just happened to be in the room next door to the Devo rehearsal filming a... Um, Behind the Music, or Where Are They Now, or whatever, or with a VH1 or MTV. Can't remember which one, but a whole camera crew was there. One thing led to another. She found out that Devo was next door. She freaked out, brought the whole camera crew over. I met her briefly, like I said then. Didn't get her autograph or anything, but it was a really fine time. It was, re it was really cool to see her interacting with the band. I think her and Jerry were good friends uh, back in the day. So the next time... I was able to run into her it was in 2006 at a Devo concert in Southern California. I remember again meeting her briefly, didn't get her autograph or anything like that. Finally, in I think it was around 2012, may have been 2011, 2010, somewhere in there, I went to a show in Virginia to see Berlin. And at this point, I met somebody who was in her band uh, named Dave Schultz. And Dave Schultz got me and a friend into uh, this Berlin gig and got us backstage passes after the show. So I brought a couple of Berlin records and I brought some, uh, you know, Diva stickers and buttons and gifts for her because Dave said, obviously she was a Devo fan. So um, I uh, go to this thing, we go to the show, we go backstage afterwards. She's really super cool, super cool. She signs a couple of things for me. Uh, here's this uh, Love Life record, Michael. This is a promo, 12-inch. Uh, Michael, thank you for the Devo goodies. Terry Nunn, right? Pretty cool, because I gave her some stickers and things. And then she also signed this uh, Sex 12-inch for me. Michael, love all over you, Terry Nunn, right? I mean, come on, that's, that's gold. Now, the story does not stop there. The story gets way better. Okay, so she signs these two great things for me, right? Which I cherish. I have them framed in my house and uh, took them out of the frames just for this, just for you guys. So now here's where the story really gets interesting. Um, shortly after meeting her at that Virginia gig, Devo has some shows coming up in Southern California. I can't remember exactly how far it was away from when I met her. Maybe a couple months, maybe a few months, something like that. And since I typically help manage the guest list at Devo shows, uh, sometime before this Devo gig in Southern California, I get an email from her people or somebody saying, hey, Terry would love to be on the list, plus three or whatever. And I said, of course. So we put her on the list. And I was thinking to myself, wow, wouldn't it be cool if I go out to this show and I get to see her again and like she remembers me from meeting her a few months ago. That would be really cool. Wow. In my wildest dreams, right? So... Uh, we go to do the Devo gig and, you know, the whole day is going great. The show is going great. I don't really see her before the show or anything. And, uh, at some point I'm on stage uh, with Devo and I'm kind of behind them, probably waiting for them to drop some kind of stage prop or costuming that I have to pick off the stage. And I see out in the audience, like way back in the back of the crowd, somebody standing on a table, just dancing, just like. And I can tell it's Terry Nunn. I mean, I could tell from a distance that that is Terry Nunn rocking out on a table to Devo. Now, this is what I, I saw. She, maybe she was standing on a chair. 
I don't know, she was standing on something to make her taller than most of the audience. And it just happened to be the lighting in the back of the club lit her right up. So I was sitting there thinking to myself, wow, if that's all I get to see of Terry Nunn this trip, that's a great image to have in my head of her just rocking the F out to Devo in concert. So I'm doing my thing. I'm gathering up materials off the stage. The show ends. And uh, here, here's what I'm doing. Uh, the show ends, and I'm kind of like, I've got a bunch of Devo stuff in my arms like this, like costuming, energy domes, whatever it is, off the stage. And my duty is to get that stuff from the stage to the dressing room right after the show, right? So I've got this armload of stuff. I'm completely, you know, sweaty and stuff. And I'm, I've got this armload of gear. And the way that you had to get from the... Uh, the stage to the dressing room was we had to go through this other room. And that room just happened to be reserved for the after show. So all the people with backstage passes, all the Devo's guests, friends, family, they were all in this room right after the show waiting for Devo. So by the time I get everything scooped off the stage, the band's already in the dressing room, everybody's gone. I'm running to the dressing room. I'm going through this crowded, crowded room of people and I'm just trying to weasel my way through to get to where I'm going. And I've got this same, this same crew shirt on and uh, totally s soaking wet. And I've got all these stinky, sweaty costumes in my arm. And I'm going through the crowd and I hear this, Michael, Michael, Michael. And I'm looking around and I'm going, what the heck? And then I see Terry Nunn across the crowd going, Michael, Michael. And I'm like, oh. I just drop all the Devo stuff. I run through the crowd, going through the crowd to Terry Nunn, and I see her, and she opens her arms like this to hug me, and I'm like, oh, oh, Terry, I'm really sweaty right now. And she's like, me too, let's schmeck. And then she comes and she grabs me, and when, when, we, when we hugged, I heard her go, you know, I heard that, the sweaty garments, like, squishing against each other. And I was like, schmeck, what is that? She was like, schmeck. That's like when you hug, hug somebody when you're both sweaty. And I was like, did I just schmeck Terry Nunn? She was like, you sure did. <laughs> and it was great. And then I saw her leaving that night after the show with some friends, and she had been having a great time at the after party, and uh, she was just uh, a pleasure, a pleasure to schmeck, let me tell you. If you ever get a chance to schmeck Terry Nunn, I'd recommend it. All right? Till next time, thank you for the likes. Thank you for the subscribes. May the rock and roll gods bless you. Talk to you later.